Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing tonight? So, I'm doing good. It's Tuesday, and I just kind of stayed away from the drama at work, did my job, and it was a much better day once you just stop, um, stop the nonsense, stop listening to people, stop, you know, just stay in your own thing, do your own thing, don't let people influence you how you feel about things sometimes, you know, because that's crazy. Um, anyway. So enough of that nonsense. Let's um, let's move on to this. This this is a business journal, business envelope journal that I created a long time ago, and I just absolutely love it. And I'm finding a lot of people online like it too. And um, one of my um, viewers asked me if I would recreate it, and I thought, you know what? I haven't done it in a while, and I need a couple of journals. I need a journal. I need a food journal. I need an idea journal. I need a um, all kinds of journals. I just could use some journals right now. So, even though this whole thing, I mean, there's a few pages like this, I love it, and there's a few pages like this I don't love. I mean, we went through all that, you know, there's some that I do love. I learned a lot in this journal, and it's a fun, it's a fun journal. It was a really fun journal. So, you know what, I don't mind having another one to, you know, poke around in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to um, show you quickly how to do it. This was sewn, I noticed, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the sew. And um, the only thing I'm not doing tonight for you, because I think you can do it, I mean, you don't need me to do it, I'll do it, I'm gonna do it as I go through the journal, is the decoration part. You know, this was just um, collaged, and then I went over it with some, looks like some ink tents pens, and then I put a piece of material on it, and I blinged it up, and then I, you know, this lace was so much fun to do. So if you have a lot of lace, oh, enjoy it. That's so much fun to do. It just really brings the, you know, some life into the, um, to your journal, into into the fun, you know. So, yeah. So this was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I'm not sorry that I did this journal. As a matter of fact, I'm happy to have another one actually. Um, so let's get started. I I've already gotten kind of started on it. Um, so let's tell you what you need to do. You need obviously some envelopes, some junk journal, some business envelopes. And I liked mine very, um, with the, with the ripped, torn, uh, sides because, um, well, a lot, a lot of them got covered up, but you can see that they make really interesting pages, right? I just love that. So some of them did get covered up, but the ones that didn't get covered up, um, really did add to the texture I think of the book but yeah I kind of went crazy what well, you can see even though I did put lace on some you, you know I really left let some of them really be and I just I really like that instead of cutting them all up so um, yeah so do that let them let them shred and that's fine so take as many in your signature as you want so you cut the envelope um, in this case I had to cut the envelope down to size to fit this box that I found um, this was, I love this box. I think it's a really pretty box, so I'm not going to decorate it. I mean, I'm just going to leave it like that, and I might, like, put lace around it or something, but I, these are, like, my favorite macaroons at, um, Trader Joe's, guys. Oh, my God. There's fig, lemon, apricot, coconut, pistachio, and salted caramel, and there's not one in there that I don't like. Um, so this is, and it's a pretty box. So I'll tell you more about the box in a minute on the, on the sizing thing. So get your junk journal business envelopes out and tear them open and um, make signatures. And signatures is you just, instead of, you know, you don't put them together like one on top of the other like that. that, that that's not a signature. A signature is taking them and putting them inside of each other. See? So you want to put them inside of each other. And use smaller envelopes too, whatever you've got. Um, and then you put them inside each other like that and um, you can do four or five or more whatever you want to do I don't even know how many I did here but I think four or five and so now you have all of these signatures ready to go so yeah so some might have more some you know some might have less so um, yeah so here's a signature here's a signature good old Southern California Edison lovely there's a signature and then here's a signature now I should be having more signatures because that's not very thick and this is quite thick, but you know what? It's going to fill up and I'm not worried about it. And um, I'm basically doing this to have around for um, just for fun. 
and yes it's hanging over but when I get done with it I'm gonna probably glue those down I might cut them off I don't even know I don't even care um, you could of course cut them all off if you want to I'm probably gonna go ahead and just glue stick them down I think I did that in some of these I just glued them down and it just left a little flap or whatever or just you know close them and you'll have a little flap so not a big deal don't worry about that right now you know no drama we don't care so yeah see once you fold them up like that or whatever then they fit nicely these just happen to be hanging out and, and I don't care okay so just let that let those gluey flaps you know let their let their freak flag freak, freak flag fly <laughs> oh who's Crosby Stills from Anthony Young oh my gosh I'm showing my age anyway so yeah there you go so just do that I'm gonna tuck them all in I don't know why because all of a sudden it bugged me just tuck them in um, there you go so there so yeah so see once you get them you know I just want I guess I want you to see that it's gonna be fine now this uh, box is a lot shorter than this box as you can see so I did have to lob off lob off some of the envelope to make them fit into this box but this was the probably the best box I had see that's not gonna be so bad all right so we have our envelope signatures right we have we cut them down to the size that we want and we've got them ready to go right now um, this box is the macaroon box I said and, and what I did was in to get ready to sew them in because I want them to be straight like this one I think there's like a couple and then I just if they're not straight you can tape over them I think that's what I did here because it wasn't so great this was kind of a fiasco but um, this time I'm gonna I tried to do a little bit better job so I know that I have four signatures and so I want them lined up in the middle you know four lines so what I did because I can't measure well is I took a piece of paper was it this one or something like it and I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again and then I found the middle and then from that point I folded again and I folded again and then I just kinda eyeballed it and once I eyeballed it all the way down then I took my ruler and I made lines all the way across right because you don't you want to try to get them as as um, as um, straight as possible but again it's not a big deal now this is washi tape and um, full disclosure it's not holding real well so I, I'm gonna have to reinforce it with this um, um, tacky glue and also notice that I'm not doing any um, painting on here I'm gonna do it all afterwards now what I did on this one was I went ahead and before I even sewed them up I, I went through with some um, watercolor and crayons and I just cut so you can see where I made crayons and I colored them just I mean you know I did like that um, uh, crayon thing where you can't what is it reverse I don't know where you you can't um, color through the crayon obviously I don't know what that's called sorry and then you know I just like right here I just colored on it and stamped on it and got it just ready for um, whatever you know I didn't even think think about it so see there's watercolor so that's what you can do first but I'm not going to do that on this book I'm just going to stick them in there and then I'm going to um, which is kind of weird I'm going to decorate it as I go so you know I don't know um, yeah I'm just going to decorate it as I go I kind of am making this just for an online viewer to see how to do it anyway but you know this will always come in handy as a thing to test stuff so all right so here's we've got this cut down we've got our lines ready for our um, signatures now what you need to do is you need to make your holes right because the last time I first off let me say the easiest way to do this is to staple and glue so what you would do is you would get your long reach stapler and you would staple 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 and then I'll staple them all just like that then you would pour your glue on here stick them in here like that put it together like that do this a couple of times and then they would glue in that's the easiest way to do it and it would work great however I had done it with with them um, sewing and it's just kind of fun so it adds an, it adds another little dimension to it 
So um, you can see where it's kind of loose and stuff, but it's, it's fine. It's just fine. So I'm going to do it that way because that's how I did it before. So, the, yeah. All right. Now where's my... Really tired though. Okay. Okay, what did I do with my this thing? Yeah. So the reason why you want to use this and you want to label it, like this is left bottom, we'll call that because it's going to go on the bottom. This is the, you know, so that's going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top right. So we'll go this way. Just so you don't want to turn it around just in case there's a difference. You know, you always want to keep it on the same side. So I'm going to start by finding the middle of my signature right here and then I'm going to stick this in there and I'm going to poke my holes because it really is the easiest way to do this. So last time I didn't poke holes and I was one sorry camper. Oh, and you know what makes this really easy too is paper clips. So let's get some paper clips out. Paper clips out. Probably don't need that many, but... <clears throat> Tired tonight, guys. Goodness. Okay, this should go a little because it's short. Nothing wrong with being short. Trust me, I know. Okay, come on through. Say hi. Hi, people. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, come on through. Come on through. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. She's kind of. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Here, I'll move that. There. Not here. Over there. Right there. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so let's make a poke hole here. I love this pokey tool. I got this at Michael's. It was in the, like the sewing section or something. And poke a hole there. So there we go. So these should line up with these holes here because I took this and I put them here and I, you know, made the holes there too as well. So let's go ahead and make those holes there. So I'll poke a hole here. And I'll poke a hole here. I don't really need this to do this because they're already lined up. There we go. And I'll poke them out there. Okay. So this is the easy part. Just get out your thread. I, I think I think I'm going to use pink because it was here and kind of had it out. Okay. So so the first one, I might feel like I'm going a little fast, but the first one and by the time I get to the fourth signature, you guys are gonna go, oh, I get it. So no worries, don't, don't, no worries. As far as um, the thread goes, uh, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't have any idea. I just guess and cut, so I don't know. But you do wanna start with this middle one. So we'll start with our middle one, get everything in holes that we had lined up. You see I put some paper gum wrapper on there. I don't know why I did that. I was just totally into that at work. I'll go here. Okay, so basically, let's put some paper clips on here. Keeps everything together from flopping around. Makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So, it would be nice to have one of these sitting around. We can do testing on it and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I do need a lot of them. So, Okay, so there. And then you want to stop it. Now what you can do here is you can um, put another paper clip over it just to make sure it doesn't go end up going through the hole because you don't want that to happen. You want to leave this where it is. Okay? Then you want to go th down through the ne this other hole. So come up through the hole that you created and go back up through this one here, all right? Easy, see? Now you want to go back down through the middle. Trust me, it couldn't be easier, you guys. Once you poke those holes, boy, you're in like Flynn. And up through this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the washi. That washi tape's not gonna hold for good, so I'm probably gonna end up lacing it up, putting some lace on there too, which is fine. Okay, and up, and then boom, you're done. That's it, now all you basically have to do is tie it off. How easy is that, right? I don't know if it's right, I don't know if it's wrong, but it's how I did it last time, and it worked out for me really well. So, hi Gray, come on, go through. 
No, there's a needle there. You're going to get hurt. Come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Come on, sweetheart. I know you need some love in here. You need some love here. Mm -hmm. There. Go with it. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, okay, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to tie this in a knot. Tie this in a knot. Now, I took away too much string, so the next time I'll try not to waste so much string. And then I turn it so it kind of holds the thing, and then tie it another knot. Finger on it. I hope it's in there straight. I didn't really look. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me look. That's perfect, you guys. Perfect. And this will be done in two minutes. Two minutes. So yeah, you could staple it and blah, 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 all that. But you know what? This is cute. This is cuter even. So, let's tie another knot in that. I enjoyed this, um, my first one that I made. I learned so much on it, with it, you guys. I think I told you I did a little what I learned type video. I learned a lot, so I'm not sorry. I'm really happy I did it, and I'm happy to have another one. Really great. Okay, so now we gotta do it again. Come on, sweetheart. I know you're really, really wanting some attention tonight, but I can't give it to you right this second. I'm sorry. I think I should spend a few more minutes with her before I try to get online. But I have to get online shortly to help buy my daughter some more books. So I'm kind of... Maybe that's why I feel like I'm being rushy. So I apologize in advance if I'm a little more rushy than normal or usual. Or, you know, I don't know. All right. So you want to get one of these needles. This is like a darning needle. And again, you can get it at Michael's or anywhere. Just a great big hole. Okay. Stick that in there. All right. Then, but before we do that, let's get our pokey tool. And poke our holes. It's such a, so much easier when you poke the holes in advance. I think I did a horrible video where I did not do that. And oh boy, was I sorry. Okay. Oh, she almost fell. Go outside, honey. Go by the window. Okay, so what do we got here? All right. There she is. She's going to go up there. So again, we have the left bottom. So we're going to use this to make our holes in the book. In the binding. Okay. Then we're going to line that up. A little bit. We don't need so much string. Okay. Got our string ready. And we're going to go ahead and put in some paper clips to hold it tight. So that we're not flopping all over the place. Okay, that's good enough. All right? Okay. Okay, so let's go in through the middle, in through the middle, and we're going to make this sure this doesn't get lost somehow, like so, in through the middle. Okay, we're going to go up, up through the, I'm going to have to move it a little bit, guys, so sideways when I do this part, and then up this way. So much easier when you have the holes. <laughs> I did not do that last time and I was a very sorry person and oh my gosh, trying to do that online, making that mistake, I was sweating bullets, it was hilarious. So then I went ahead and did another one. Oh, okay, what did I do here? Then I did another one and I was like, okay, I just, um, um, what do you call it? Okay, so I just lost my needle. Let me see what's going on here. That's that, that's fine. I'm um, not liking what just happened, so I got I got to start over. That's which is easy to do, so not a big deal. See, I don't think that held. Okay, so in through the middle, in through the middle, and I wish I could figure, see what happened. I lost it up here. That's what, maybe I should have cut it, left it a little bit longer. I'm trying to be stingy. Don't be stingy. Okay, up the center. 
the center. Back through the middle. Oh, that came back through so nice and easy up through the other end. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but. Mm -hmm. And you're done, pretty much, that's it. And you just have to make sure that it's taut, pulled nice and tight. And it looks good here. And it looks pretty good here. Let's just look. Is that in like, is it in like Flynn? It's in like Flynn to me, it looks good to me. So pull it, pull it. Looks good, and then give it a knot. Let's do another one, see if I can totally confuse you. I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard not to, but. Maybe I'll just tie it in a bow, and then I can tie it in a double bow, and I think that'll be easier. And there we go. Instead so of trying to do a knot first. Yeah, I change my mind as I go. I think you guys have noticed that about me. There we go. Cute. Okay. So see, there's two. Very nice and lined up, so that's fine. Okay. So let's do the next one. This will be fun to decorate. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really fun to decorate them, at least get them colored before you um, put them in here as well. That's fun too. Either way, either way it works out fine. So let's go ahead and poke our holes. I'm going to go ahead and poke our holes in a... No, I'll just do it one of, as I go. That way we can revisit what, what the steps are. So poke your holes in the thing. Grab your... And it doesn't matter which way they go, any old way, no drama, no, nothing Sorry about that. I got a phone call and I <sighs> got rid of it. Okay, so here we are. So now we're going to poke our holes in our um, in our signature in the center. Start with the center, do the sides. Not a big deal. Oh, that one didn't turn out so good. I guess it's a little bit more careful than me. There we go. Perfect. Bring it over. And, yep, okay, so let's do some string. Kind of cute to do different kind of string. You can do yarn, you can do um, rope, you know, that, what, hemp or whatever. I mean, you don't have to use this. This is um, just, um, you know, embroidery thread, but I have it, so why not use it, right? I mean, really. So, again, you've got our holes poked here on the book. Got our holes poked here in the signatures, and we're going to start in the middle. And we're going to go down because we want to tie it in the center right here, right? So we're probably going to use some paper clips, tie this together a little bit, keep everything kind of organized. Not perfect, but perfecter. Perfecter. one here for the center to hold this. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We are first first center down. Now we're going to come up through... This is another piece of washing. Gracie's being really bad tonight. Naughty kitty. So we're going to come up and we're going to go back through this one. It's kind of, oh, that's fine. I'm not worried about it too much. It's just awesome. This goes back through here. It's kind of funny how once it starts going, it actually is pretty easy. You don't want to, there we go. You don't want to go through the thread, though. That's the only problem. And then you want to make sure it's kind of tied tight, like so. Kind of pull it. You know, if you have to, like that, and that, that won't hurt anything. But make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, I guess I haven't told you that. Yeah, I'm not the greatest teacher, but hopefully if you watch it a couple times, um, it'll make sense and, you know. There we go. That's not the most perfect one right there, but we're not caring. We're, we're just okay with that. 
My gosh, Gray, are you serious tonight, honey? Here, I'll move. Sorry, you guys. I will move the laptop, the iPad. Sit there. That's it. My goodness, Kitty. She's really. I don't think she feels good. There, I moved her iPad. That iPad. There, it's out of your way. She's just like, get your stuff out of my way, and I'll leave you alone. Are you okay? I'm getting a little concerned because she's more so than normal. Okay, so pull it tight. Looks good in the back. Probably one of the better ones I've done, you guys, and that's probably not saying much. But, yeah. This is what, my second one? <laughs> so I think I learned the first time and I'll make it nice and tight. Nothing's going to rip. Actually, I kind of do want to turn it a little bit. Listen. There we go. Okay. It's a little loose, isn't it? So I'm going to go for a knot. Last time that felt fine. This time it doesn't feel fine. So I'm going to go for a knot. I don't know. I know who that was. That was my girlfriend's boyfriend on the phone just now. And I'm like, what? I mean, he's a friend of mine, too. We all used to work together. So I was like, I don't want to talk to him right now. <laughs> I haven't even talked to her. I don't know. What she, she's been out of town. So I actually declined the phone call. Isn't that terrible? I'm so bad. But you know what? Like, I'll call him back. It's not important, obviously. I mean, can't imagine. Yeah. So see? Oh, it's coming together nicely, guys. One more. It looks like they're going to be very well. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, spaced. So that's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. This is going to be a cute little junk journal. Now, granted, if you don't like your front, you're going to have, you should probably cover it and stuff first, you know. But I just want, I love this macaroon box. For some reason, I don't I'm usually, really sorry, well. I'm not videoing very well tonight. Um, it, it cut off, and I don't know where it cut off, so I apologize. But we ended up with four signatures. I'll have to look at it later. I hope that you got to see the last four. Four signatures, and they're, and they're pretty good. This one's a little bit high, but oh well, so too bad, so sad. And they look like they're going to be able, and this, these books lay flat. Isn't that awesome? So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, just a lot of fun. So, yeah, get busy. Um, you can make, like, pockets out of these, you know, just glue this part down. And um, now you have a pocket, like, right there for, you know, something else that you want to stick in there. I mean, you know, there you go. There's a pocket. I don't know. So, yeah. I just think these are so much fun. Or you can just go ahead and rip them off and make some more jaggy edges. I love that. You know, that's always fun to just rip them off and make some jags. That's, well, that was a little bit too jaggy, but that's okay. I don't care. So, yeah. So, I hope that this kind of helped you out and how to put together one of these little um, um, business envelope journals. Now, stay back, Gray. Stay back. No, go on. Go on. Go on. Um... If you want to, if it's this thick, add two more. This is not actually enough signatures. <laughs> Boy, this thing will lay even really flat. This is kind of cool. This is a fun journal, you guys. You can really fill this up. But like I did on this one, I filled it up with a lot of, um, um, you know, beads and bows and bits and bobs and all kinds of lace and bling and magazines and stuff. So, um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, have fun with it. Again, um, you know, to sew it, it's just come, come, you know, it's come up like this, up through the middle, and then go down, and then come back up through the middle, and then go down and back up, and there you go. Then you're done, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed and learned a little bit of something about um, sewing these. It's a sewn, it's a sewn signature, so if you do it, that's awesome, you know? So... Do it. Get in there and just sew your first signature, and and um, it's a lot of fun. So we'll work more in this journal together, maybe. You know, I'll pull it out here and there and do some stuff in it. I've got quite a few little glue books going, and I'm really enjoying that other glue book that I've got going. 
but I just wanted to get this done because I do take um, requests so if there's something that you want to see me do even though I've never done it before and you want to see me make a complete idiot of myself I'll be happy to do that <laughs> So anyway, okay, you guys, I hope that this helped you, and I hope that this is what you wanted to see, and um, again, if you want me to show you a real quick, um, well, actually, I already showed you a real quick uh, um, uh, staple and glue one. I just haven't worked in it. Sorry about that. It's It's been sitting over here. There's, like I said, any shiny object, and I'm, I'm off rolling, but I do plan on getting back to my puzzles tomorrow night, or at least soon for the next video. Um, maybe. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later.